today we made a quick day trip to Seoul and the reason being is because I got reservations to go see Cheonghwadae which is literally kind of translated to the blue house and so we we're just heading there after lunch but on the way there the streets look really well maintained with flowers and as you can see the traditional walls so we're currently on our way to go inside Cheonghwadae and this is a way there but along the way as you can see the autumn leaves have started so it looks really pretty as we walk along these line of trees. We were finally inside Cheonghwadae that was really really fast and so we already reserved in advance and as you can see beautiful mountains in the back, the blue house, the distinct colors there and then there's even like a sign where we could take photos so I'm gonna take some photos there and then we're gonna head in. I can't believe I'm actually going into the blue house like that this is a very rare opportunity i think it's like the first time it's been open to the public in 70 80 years so we get to see where the president would normally live which is like a really big deal and i'm really excited to see how nice it is inside and where all the past presidents lived So we took a quick look around the blue house. To be honest, there wasn't really much to see. It's more of the rooms. All the furniture had been taken out. But now we're on our way to see where the president and his wife used to live, which is like a separate space from the blue house. So we're just on our way there. But on our way there, there's a little bit of like a walkway lined with trees. So it's really pretty. And I guess this was all sort of private area before the public was able to go into the blue house. So these are what was once all private walkways of the president. Very cool. So we are at the presidential residence. So now we're at the presidential residence and so this is where they used to live. I'm a little bit surprised because I thought it would be more modern but it's more traditional so it's really pretty to look at with the traditional architecture. So we're going to go in and now take a look where the president used to live. <laughs> So we're inside, but unfortunately we're not able to go inside the building. We're only able to see it from, I guess, the outside. But we can still get a sense of, you know, where they used to spend their time. We're in this little area that tells the history of Cheonghwadae and I'm reading this for the first time but the, it says the present Cheonghwadae site was a location of the royal villa in Goryeo dynasty in nine, 918. 
to 1392, so over a thousand years ago. Wow. We're where the president would have his press releases, and this is where all the reporters would sit and ask their questions. But it's very, very simple. There's nothing fancy about this location. Hi guys, so we're at um, a Samgyeopsal place, which is like a pork belly. The particular name of this restaurant is called Jeju Abang. Jeju being the Jeju Island, and they're famous for their black pigs. So we're having Samgyeopsal here. This is a place I really wanted to go to and that I really enjoy when I was working in Korea, but I finally got to come here. And I also see the building of Samye, which is where I used to go for work like four or five years ago before COVID. So this brings back a lot of memories. I'm excited to eat some good and dig in. We're currently in Haeundae today. Beautiful day. It's early November, but it's still really sunny and nice out. So it's a beautiful day. I'm here with Lucky right now. Wow. <laughs> Lucky is going berserk. We are currently at Yongdo. We are at the coffee festival here. As you can see, there's some pretty decorations. Then there's coffee tasting along here. So we just got here. I think today's the last day, but we just quickly found that there was a coffee festival going on, which is perfect because I love coffee. So we decided to come here and check out what it's like.
Hey guys, so we're currently making our way along each of the booths which all provide coffee. We got this free little snack and we got almost a full cup of coffee here. We're tasting coffee throughout every time we visit a booth. So yeah, getting my coffee fix here. Hi guys, so we are currently at Taejongje, which is one of the top spots you have to visit when you're in Busan. So it is a little bit of a cloudy day, so it is a little bit hazy, but you can still see the island and the beautiful view here. We're actually on the train, as you can see behind me here. And we got on the train to come up here because it is pretty steep, it's up on a mountain. And so we got on the train, got off here, and then there are a couple of areas to visit along the way. So I'll show you guys around. We have to walk down a long flight of stairs to get to where the rocks are. So this is sort of like the main area as well as the other side. Basically, it's like this really beautiful scene of rocks that have been cut down over 1600 years. And so there's a little bit of like mini restaurant there where, I don't know what they're called, but it's like Henyo in Korean. They go underwater and they like take fresh seafood and they sell it very casually in the bottom there. And then you can see that's the restaurant area and then on the other side is where the famous rocks that have been cut by cut over 1600 years is so we'll be going to both areas but look how beautiful that is oh my gosh so it is very very steep where we're walking down holding on to these rocks as we go down it is beautiful though i have to admit literally sitting here right by the beach and there are basically like mini restaurants as i mentioned over there so my mom is just grabbing some things but i'm basically saving the seat for when she comes so that we could actually enjoy eating here this is super cool cheers <laughs> So we finished eating down there and now we're hiking up this huge flight of stairs. I just have my mom below me. I just have my mom is following me. But this should be a workout after a good meal, so it's all good. So my hair is a mess because of all the wind, but uh, we couldn't go down to the where the rocks are or the the key area because it was closed off. But right now the sun is setting and it just looks so beautiful. I had a really good meal and now we're heading back to the top. So we're just walking up there, but one last look. Super pretty. Wow. I am really going to miss Korea. I've had such a good time. This 
round and a really good way to end my trip here. Hey guys, so we just got off the Uncheon Changyok, which basically means um, Uncheon or Onsen, which you guys might be more familiar with, which is like hot spring bath. So we're on our way to one of the biggest ones in Asia called Hoshimtang. Hoshimchong, I believe. Hoshimchong, because we actually got free tickets to that. And today's kind of like our last day to go. So I'm on my way there. And the thing with Korea is like when you get off the sky train or the subway, you get so much variety in terms of like what to eat and all that. So we grabbed some corn on the way. So yeah, we're just on our way. So I just finished the spa. It was really good. Basically, this is the same water that kings like back generations used to bathe in. So it's really healing for your skin and also apparently it has the highest concentration of magnesium in all of South Korea. So magnesium, as you may know, is really good for relieving muscle pain. Considering I've been walking like nonstop for the past few days, averaging 15 to 20,000 steps, like this was really, really stress relieving and felt really good for the body. So I'm just waiting for my mom in the meantime. I'm just hydrating at the moment. But there's also a lot of other things to do in this building. Like there's a coffee shop, there's like a like a brewery or like a pub because there's also like a beer bath within the Onchan which is kind of cool which is supposed to be really good for your skin as well let me like show you guys around there's even like a Starbucks restaurant that's closed so it seems like there's also a brewery here they make their own beer for the bath but also just to drink as part of a pub and i think it's around the corner oh it looks closed today that's a pub but it looks closed yep So today's my last day here in Korea. I'm doing a final walk around Hyundai with Lucky with a cup of coffee, which is like the perfect combination. But I can't wish for better weather. It's going to be sunny. So I always have this thing with uh, flights where, you know, I would prefer to have nice weather than like a rainy weather, just in case. But it's beautiful outside and I'm really going to miss this weather this temperature, $1.50 coffee, just everything about Korea, I guess, but specifically Hyundai. <sighs> so I guess I'm going back to Vancouver. Hopefully it's not too rainy. Hopefully it's not rain -couver at this point, but it's been a great trip. It's been a long, but also at the same time, short two months. And I feel like I've done a lot of things, but also at the same time, you know, you always think, oh, I could have done more things. It's always that like bittersweet moment. So anyways, just gonna enjoy this for the final time before my flight later this afternoon. Hey guys, so we're currently in the Korean Air Lounge. So I'm just resting up here. I have about two hours before my flight and I'm here with Lucky. He's just um, resting in his little space, but it's been a really good trip. And then now I'm just going to enjoy the last few moments of my time here in Korea before I go. Mm -hmm. 